If you're looking for great prompts to generate word problem questions for your students that include differentiation and a variety of questions to target all strands of math, stay tuned and I'll walk you through some quick and easy prompts to get you the results you're looking for. Welcome to AI for Teachers. I'm Jen Twadale. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through three different ways to generate word problems for your students. Firstly, I'm gonna walk you through how to generate word problems that will target specific strategies when you're teaching students how to solve word problems. Then I'll walk you through some great prompts that I've found for developing differentiated questions, as well as prompts that will generate open-ended questions for your students that really encourage inquiry and deep level thinking. When we're teaching problem solving and word problems to our students, there's obviously several strategies that we can teach them to use. And ChatGPT can help us in that process because it can generate questions that can be targeted to each of those strategies. So whether you're teaching your students to draw a picture, guess and check, continue the pattern, circle the relevant information, you can use all of those tips in your prompt with ChatGPT and it will generate questions that will help you target that specific strategy. So I started with the strategy guess and check and I wrote the prompt, create math word problems to teach the concept of guess and check. Make them at a year three level. You can also add in there if you want it to be on a specific concept, so multiplication or time. You can see here that it's come up with some great suggestions. The first one, Sarah has a bag of marbles. She knows that the total number of marbles is less than 20 and she counted them in groups of four. When she counted, she had three marbles left over. How many marble, marbles could Sarah have had in her bag? So instead of having to think of all the ideas of questions that would suit the guess and check strategy, ChatGPT does the hard work for you. I tried it with draw a picture and it was also able to generate some ideas for me. So my prompt was create word problems at a grade three level to target the concept of draw a picture to solve the problem. And in this one, I asked it to include multiplication when it generated its questions. And you can see here that it came up with several ideas that the students could then use when they're practicing the strategy to draw a picture. One thing I did find when I was trying to generate some of these word problems was it wasn't always giving me exactly the output I wanted, particularly when I was asking it to use the strategy of circle the relevant information. It was having difficulty with that prompt at first. So what I did was is I gave it a question type, how I wanted it structured, and then asked it to make questions similar. It was able to then generate some questions and following that, I, I asked ChatGPT, what would I prompt to generate that type of question? And then it will suggest the prompt that you could use next time. So that's two tips. One, give it a question structured how you want it and then ask it to generate similar questions and to ask it after it's generated what you want, what you should have prompted to get that output, and then that will help you in the future. Differentiated word problems are obviously something that we all like to have when we're giving our students our word problems. And the easiest way I found to generate them with ChatGPT is by using the chili analogy. So I actually use it in my prompt I asked ChatGPT to generate easy questions, one chili, moderate questions, two chilies, and challenging questions, three chilies. The prompt that I used this week was create problem solving questions about area of a rectangle, make them at varying difficulties, use the chili system to distinguish how hard they are. One chili is easy, two chilies moderate, and three chilies is challenging. So by using that prompt, it generated some really great questions for me and it divided them up into the three sections. When I then printed those out for my students, I just use a little chili symbol on the paper. So again, it's not saying, oh, these top questions are 
easy because you may have some students that the easy questions are still challenging for them. So it just kind of takes that language out of it. And my upper students really enjoyed the three chili questions and it kept them busy a little bit longer. So I used that for the area of a rectangle. We're also doing some measurement questions right now. So I used the same strategy, create problem solving questions to convert length. I put in that we're in metric system and use the chili system again, one chili easy, two chilies moderate, three chilies challenging. And again, it was able to print the questions out in that format for me. So from there, just easy, copy and paste over into Word. And then you also have the questions already divided out in their difficulty level for you to give to your students. Open-ended math questions are also a great resource to use in the classroom. Given that they're naturally differentiated just in the nature that they have more than one correct answer, it's a really great way to give questions to your students. I find they work well when they work in pairs or small groups to answer them and ChatGPT can generate them very easily. I simply use the prompt, suggest real life open-ended math problem solving questions that have more than one correct answer and it generated some great ideas. One was the garden design. You want to create a rectangular garden with an area of 24 square meters. What are the different dimensions, length and width you could use for your garden? So naturally, some students may just find one correct answer. Some of you students that are working at a higher level can take their time to work out the multiple different answers that they could come up with. So I really have found that giving students these open-ended type problem solving questions, it really gets them into more deep thinking and more of an inquiry process. So I would recommend trying these out. And besides, they're quick and easy if ChatGPT can generate them for you. If you found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button. I try and do a video a week to keep teachers engaged with AI and make it nice and easy for us to reduce our workload and create really positive resources for our students. This has been AI for Teachers and I'm Jen Twadell.